Hi, I'm Dean Victoria Rich of, of the University of South Florida College of Nursing. I am delighted to introduce our revised clinical model for the undergraduate program here at USF. The practice partnership model is an innovative approach to better meet the needs of our, our stakeholders. Those stakeholders are you in this audience. It is designed with three goals in mind. First of all, to enhance patient care and safety and to reduce the burden for the clinical nurses that work every day with our nursing students and prepare our nursing graduates for their roles in this complex healthcare system that we all now are involved in and actively concerned about how to better improve outcomes. This change has come about because of the feedback we have received from all of you, our clinical partners, and through the voice of the clinical nurses. And from that clear message, in the nursing education literature, we are finding that we need to educate pre-licensure nursing students in a new way that is more supportive of our clinical partners, all of you. And that's just not the hospitals, but it's every great clinical nurse in every venue of care. Thank you for, for your willingness to embrace this new clinical education program. Hello, my name is Oscar Bernard, and I'm the director of the accelerated second degree major at the College of Nursing. The practice partnership model is a hybrid model that combines the best of two traditional clinical models into a new vision of clinical education. The two traditional models are the preceptor model and the clinical facilitator model, also known as the duckling model. We have developed an illustration of our hybrid model so you can see more clearly how it will work. In the illustration, you will see the central part of the practice partnership model is the group of patients assigned to the staff nurse. Although beginning students will focus on one or two patients, processing the care of the entire group of patients best prepares the student for clinical practice. At the top of this illustration is the novice nursing student. The novice learner is the student in the first three levels of the nursing program, including Fundamentals, MedSurg 1, and MedSurg 2. This represents all the time student nurses spend in the clinical, with the exception of their last semester. The left side illustrates the nurse partner's role. In most traditional clinical models, the staff nurses are referred to as preceptors. In our revised model, the staff nurses are not responsible for clinical education, so the change in the title to nurse partner helps clarify this distinction. The primary role is to provide patient care information to the novice learner and to be a role model of clinical excellence. The clinical instructors, shown on the right of the illustration, are responsible for clinical education and will actively process the ongoing learning moments that occur with the patients and the nurse partners. This includes assisting students with patient care skills, time management, nursing process, prioritization, and clinical reasoning. Hello, I am Dr. Betty Jordan, Vice Dean of Undergraduate and Global Programs for the College of Nursing. What follows is an example of an interaction between a novice nursing student and a nurse partner. You will be able to see how the new model has shifted. Um, hi, I'm having some trouble with the care plan for the patient and I was hoping you can help me uh, figure out what the patient goal is. I would love to, but you know with the practice partnership model, it's really your clinical instructor who should guide you on this. Oh, you're right. I understand your priority is the patient. I'll talk to my clinical instructor so that we can go over the details. Not only is the distinction of the nurse partner role important for a reduced burden of the staff nurses, but the clinical instructors will help guide the students to discover the answer to the nursing process question. At the College of Nursing, we are educating our students and faculty to clearly understand the roles of the nurse partner, clinical instructor, and novice nursing student. Here is another example. Um, excuse me, uh, Mrs. Jones in room 302 uh, requested um, to have some orange juice and crackers. Is it okay if I bring it to her? Actually, you know what? I'm so glad you asked me that question. I did mention a report this morning. Uh, Mrs. Jones is NPO for a procedure this afternoon, so um, I know how difficult it is for beginning students to catch all the information in the report, but I'm so glad you're getting practice. By the time you graduate, you're going to be an expert at this. The key role of the nurse partner is to share information about patient care. As they observe the nurse partner, their students will also be actively learning about the role model prioritization, clinical reasoning, 
and time management. The faculty will help the students put together the pieces of the puzzle as they progress through the day and through the program. When the students enter their last semester of their program, the term preceptor will replace the term nurse partner. This change has occurred because the students in their last semester are now advanced beginners, and so it is realistic for the staff nurses to provide direct clinical education oversight for these students. We hope this summary of our revised clinical model helps you better understand the process and the reasons we have changed to the practice partnership model. Please contact Dr. Oscar Bernard if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.